Hello everyone. Um, happy Friday. Uh, I'm Daniel Laws. I created this group and I thought I'd just introduce myself and give you guys an update before you can enjoy a happy weekend. So um, I have two children uh, in Glenmore and Winton. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with Lily in the beginning. Um, she did very well in junior school. She won all the awards for good behaviour and then she struggled a lot um, in Winton. But this is about, I started this group because of my son and I was worried that similar patterns were going to happen. So a little bit about my son. Um, he, like my other children, every year in a previous school, two children are chosen from each class at the end of the year to be given an award for best behaviour. And all my children won those awards every year. So these are clearly uh, well-behaved children or a pattern of well-behaved children. So it's not like these are misbehaving children. The first time they've ever been in actual trouble is going to the school. Now, the school is quite strict, which is okay, we accepted that, but my problem is, and a lot of us are feeling that they're unfairly strict, which is why I started the group. So what's happened with uh, Dougie, which is lovingly being called Sharpener Gate by my friends and family, uh, on his fifth day at school, he didn't know he had lost his sharpener, and he found out his sharpener was missing because they gave him the inspection, and he was missing his sharpener and immediately issued an attention. So... He's a, an 11 year old boy, he's in high school, it's his fifth day of school, he doesn't know he's lost his sharpener and he's sitting his first attention and it's the first time he's actually being punished for something and it was quite quite something for him and he was very worried about it because of his sister. Um, the school then made him sit the detention which started me fighting the unjust system because it's, it it's not actually right, it's a it's, it's, it's false file of the law, the spirit and the letter of the law. And subsequently, I found out they made him sit that detention twice. There was an error on the system. So he sat his detention. Then they put it on again. Uh, they've admitted that it was a mistake, but the, the, the fact still remains. He lost his sharpener. He didn't know his sharp, he lost his sharpener. And he sat two detentions for that. Now, the law says you actually have to misbehave before you're allowed to be sanctioned. So this is obviously where I'm at. And if you've followed uh, everything I've been doing up till now, You'll know that. And I've just come back from a meeting uh, with the head, Mr. Lima. Um, at the at the meeting, I spoke about my concerns and what I wanted. And we I stipulated uh, we're OK as parents. We, we don't mind that the school's strict, but they are not being strict. They're being unjust. And I raised again many of the parents' concern. And they've got notes about it from the previous message, uh, the previous time. The school's... Um, the school stance is they understand that perhaps the system is a bit more strict than it should be. They're not except they're not outright saying that, but they have said they're going to look into it. Um, so obviously it, it's now moving forward to uh, the Board of Governors. Uh, a lot of people um, have come forward and given me your um, stories um, and, and experiences. So I put that together um, and I've, I've addressed it with them and I'm going to put that all together more comprehensively for the Board of Governors when I go and see. And remember, anyone can help and get involved with these things. Um, some people's stories are a lot more horrific than mine. Um, and it's I also mentioned to the school that a lot of uh, parents and children are not comfortable with speaking to the school. They're, they're worried about uh, some sort of draconian, uh, not draconian, but draconian, yes, some sort of, 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 of a targeted reaction, like they, their children will be targeted um, if, if they come forward and speak uh, to the school and uh, the school's policy is well you can just email them or there's another governing board or you can go to the um, uh, you can go to the council however the fact remains that a lot of parents uh, just like the children don't feel that they can talk to the school so again that's it's about this this environment that the school has created so the, the it's not only the children that are afraid of talking to the children and afraid of being issued to detentions and sanctions when they've not done anything wrong or they've done something slightly wrong and then there's been a huge punishment, like they've been denied food all day for some silly infraction. Um, now, the school's not quite ready to accept that their system is wrong because it's creating good results. Uh, and those are obviously measured by the results they were getting uh, up till now. And I pointed out to them that uh, when I was a child, they used to beat us with sticks. They got fantastic results. It doesn't mean the system wasn't wrong. You can't judge the results uh, the system on the results, because there's a lot of children that are being treated, mistreated and unfairly treated. So uh, we have to take it to the next step, which is the uh, Board of Governors. 
um, which I will be doing. So next week, well, I hope you all have a lovely uh, weekend. And then when we all regroup next week, uh, I will be putting out the petition um, for if better treatment of the children, uh, a more fair, just treatment of the children uh, to create a more a sustainable uh, environment for the children to learn. And I will be putting together the thing to take to the governors. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted. I've just I've just come back from the meeting and then I go straight to shopping. I'm doing this video and then I'm running off to go fetch more children from school. So that's it. Uh, it's lovely to uh, meet you all. Thank you all so much for helping. And uh, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Bye.